Yeah, Kelly, look, um, need to find out what's going on with uh, my account. Um, I put a dispute in regards to it some time ago. Okay, what was your account number? 2801389. Okay, when did you put your dispute in? Um, would have been about two years ago. Colin Medley, In writing. Okay. Never came through to customer care. The nature of the um, di the complaint and the uh, dispute I put in was in regards to you guys breaching the c contract to start. Okay, well, as I say, I don't have a record of that, and we, if we had it got it, we would have responded to you. Our process um, was to send an acknowledgement letter, and then we would have responded to you in writing, um, and our records go way back to, um, well, basically um, through to 2007 on the current format that I've got here. Um, and there's never been any written complaint, but I have to consider it uh, one from you, Mr. Midley. Um, you could send a copy of the letter through to me now or today, and we can go from there. Um, I actually don't have the records of of that at the moment. Um, Put it together, a new one, and send it through to me. I can give you my contact details. Well, um, if you've got no record of the dispute, I need confirmation of that sent to my email. My email should be on uh, your file. Alright, so when did you send it to us? Uh, would have been 2012-2013. No, unfortunately. Yep, and where did you send it to? Uh, customer care. Yep. Um, how did you send it? Uh, registered post. My ex-partner would have destroyed all the paperwork in regards to it. I would have had the um, receipt for the registered post and all that. Um, and we are talking about uh, three years ago. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Mm. So just confirm the email address for me, please. Colin.medley at yahoo.com. You want confirmation that no complaint has been received. Is that what you're after? 
and also uh, confirmation that I'm lodging a new dispute as of right now. Yep, so you need to put your dispute in writing, but I'll outline that to you in the email, no problem. Well, it doesn't need to be in, in writing. I'm talking to you on the phone right now. And what's the details of your dispute, then? Uh, you guys breached a contract to start with. Well, how do we breach the contract? Under the uh, maintenance of the vehicle, you could not supply a registered um, mechanic to um, do any repairs to the vehicle. I had to supply my own mechanic. And what cause of the contract did we breach? Well, I haven't actually got the contract in front of me, but it's all in your contract that you guys had to supply a um, licensed mechanic to do any warranty repairs to the vehicle. There will be a uh, commercial lien lodged in regards to this if it is not sorted out within the next 24 hours. Okay, right. Well, that option is definitely available. It won't alter the process that we take, so you can choose what steps you take outside of our complaints process, Mr Medley. It won't alter the way that I manage it. So an ultimatum won't change the way that I will manage the complaint. That's fine. You do it whatever way you want, but I'm just telling you, that I lodged a dispute several years ago so in regards to, to it. That, is, that ultimatum won't change our internal disputes resolution process. So oh. I'm just letting you know that. That's fine. Okay. So I'll. So you need to be specific. You need to get me the details. So for us to be able to respond to your to your complaint, and you're saying that we're in breach of the contract, you need to be specific as to what we're so that we can address that and respond to you. So you probably need to take a look at your contract and let me know exactly what it is that we've, or what part of that contract that you're disputing. So well, if you, you can, can send me that. if you can send me a copy of the original contract. Yep. And we'll take it from there. Yep, so you need to be specific so we can respond to that, so... And just to let you know that our IDR or internal disputes resolution process, so initially we'll try and get a response to you within 10 days, however we do have up to 45 days. And if we're not successful in resolving the issue with you, we will re refer it through to our external disputes resolution, which is the um, credit and investment ombudsman. So that would be the next step if we aren't able to resolve it with you. Well, considering Kiwi Finance has um, had a quite, a bad, quite a bit of um, bad press over the last 10 years. Um, yeah, that won't be hard. So, thank uh, you for well, your you time. I want to refer it to the actual company is Quick Finance. So, you put the, yeah, so you've got the wrong name. What's that? You got the wrong name. It's actually Quick Finance. Oh, well, what, you call yourself whatever you want. Okay, just say. Was there anything else? That's it. Thank you for your time, and I'll wait for your um, email. Okay.